Every GTA Online newbie dreams of owning the powerful Oppressor MK2. But how quickly can a rookie go from street hustler to high-flying menace? In this challenge, we follow a fresh player's journey to buy the coveted hoverbike as fast as possible. From mastering heists to finding lucrative shortcuts, can a novice conquer the chaos and dominate the skies? Get ready to witness the transformation from rags to rocket in record time. First thing to do is join the assault on Cayo Perico. It pays great. Alternatively, you can start any job that offers double or triple money. Complete it, and with the money you earn, buy some weapons, snacks, and body armor. The weapons you will definitely need are a homing launcher, an SMG, and a rifle. Homing launcher costs $75,000. If you can afford it now, just buy it, otherwise get it after completing the Cluckin' Bell raid. Micro SMG unlocks at rank 5 and costs 3750 If you're not at rank 5 yet, no problem. Use the pistol when inside the Duco Death and aim for the head. Special Carbine costs 14750 It's not that expensive and a great investment. Marksman Rifle costs only $15,750 and is available at rank 1. It's a good early choice. With these weapons, you'll be well equipped for the challenges ahead. Once you've got your weapons and some ammo, open your phone, go to Dynasty 8, and buy the cheapest garage. Then, go back to Warstock and purchase the free Duke O Death. The Duke will make missions a lot easier. If you visit Simeon at Premium Deluxe Motorsport, you can get snacks for free. For faster transportation, you can find helicopters at these two locations. Additionally, you can find other aircraft at LSIA, Meriwether Headquarters, Sandy Shores Airfield, Fort Zancudo, and Mackenzie Field. You can visit the casino and spin the lucky wheel, but it's not necessary. Now let's focus on making $750,000 in one hour. Head over to Vincent and start the Clucking Bell Farm Raid. The Clucking Bell Raid is ideal for new players. It has no requirements, opens at rank 1, is easy to complete, and is solo friendly. Completing this mission will earn you $500,000, plus a $250,000 first time bonus. After that, there is a cooldown of one hour before you can do it again. So far, it took 20 minutes to complete the assault on Cayo Perico. The money you earned was transformed into weapons, which is perfectly fine. Your total is now $750,000 in just one hour and 20 minutes. Not bad at all. Now you want to proceed with the first dose missions. Each mission will give you a $50,000 first time bonus. The final mission is particularly rewarding, paying an additional $250,000 and giving you the Brickade 6x6 for free. However, don't spend any money upgrading the Brickade just yet. In the description, I will leave a link to a super easy guide on how to complete the Fatal Incursion mission. Now, we have 1,250,000 in 2 hours and 20 minutes. Things are going great. By now, the 1 hour cooldown has passed, so it's time to run another Clucking Bell raid. This will add another half million to your account in just 1 hour. Now, the cooldown timer is on again. Next, proceed with the last dose missions. There are five missions in this series, and each one provides a $100,000 first-time bonus. Completing all five will also reward you with the Ocelot Supercar. But be warned, the final mission is quite a nightmare. Next, we've reached 2,250,000 in just 4 hours and 20 minutes. The progress is impressive and steady. Let's keep going. Now go to the music locker to meet Miguel and buy the Kosatka submarine for 2.2 million. This will bring us back to zero, but it's necessary since there are no more first-time bonuses available for DAX missions. Start the scope out mission and make sure to photograph the drainage tunnel compound entry point. Now, let me quickly show you how to complete the prep missions efficiently. Drive your Kasatka to this harbor here and engage the autopilot to keep it in place. Next, go out and steal a helicopter to help you move faster. If the helicopter despawns after exiting a building, simply steal a car and complete the mission. When you need to steal the sonar jammer, use the fast travel option to get as close as possible. Then, drive your Kasatka right next to the other submarine. You don't need rebreathers or scuba gear. Exit your submarine, enter the other one, steal the sonar jammer, go out again, and return to your Kasatka. This is the easiest and fastest way to complete this mission. One last tip, if you have to steal the weapons from Meriwether, change session as this mission takes too long. When you need to steal them from a skyscraper, approach from the roof for a quicker completion. 
what you should know before attempting the heist. Don't complete this heist solo for several reasons. Doing it with at least one other player will result in more money because you will be looting gold. You should not pay your partner more than 15% of the cut, which is fair since you did most of the work. If they don't agree with 15%, simply find someone else. You can also make a deal by informing them that you will invite them several times in the next few hours. Once they agree, befriend them. Before starting the heist, watch this guide to see how easily the Cayo Perico heist can be done. Once you have memorized the path and are ready to start the heist, inform your crew that all they have to do is stay behind you and follow you. No shooting, etc. Another reason not to complete it solo is because of the two and a half hour cooldown. If you complete it with another player, the cooldown is only 48 minutes. Start the heist and set the Kasatka as the approach vehicle. Choose the drainage tunnel for both the infiltration and compound entry points. The escape point does not matter. Next, complete the Cayo Perico heist. For the first time, it will pay you 1.4 million. Additionally, you'll receive another $200,000 as a first time bonus, $200,000 for completing it in stealth mode, and another $200,000 for completing the elite challenge. That's a total of $2 million in one and a half hours. Note that doing Cayo Perico for the first time might take a bit longer due to cinematics and dialogue. So far, that's $2 million in 5 hours and 50 minutes. Once you've completed the Cayo Perico heist, there will be a 48 minute cooldown. During this time, it's the perfect opportunity to run another Cluckin' Bell heist. That means $2.5 million in 6 hours and 50 minutes. Now, let's run another Cayo Perico heist and make it $3.5 million in 7 hours and 50 minutes. That's actually pretty good progress. In GTA Online, you are allowed to have two characters, both of whom share the same account. Now, create a second character. Purchase the homing launcher, an SMG, a rifle, the cheapest garage, and the free Duco Death. Now I have some good and bad news. The bad news is that you'll need to buy the Kasatka again. The good news is that we will now be making over $1 million in a maximum of one hour. Additionally, you will be able to unlock Hard Mode, which pays even more. Don't be intimidated by the name Hard Mode. It's actually the same difficulty, you just have one less life. However, I won't be adding the extra money from Hard Mode because I will not be including the setup fee and Pavel's fee. This way, the minimum this heist will be paying is $1.2 million. Let's say it took you 10 minutes to create a second character and set everything up. That means you now have $1.3 million in 8 hours. Complete the heist again and you'll get the first time bonuses again, adding another $2 million to your account with an additional 90 minutes of work, making it $3.3 .3 million in 9 hours. Now, the cooldown is on, but don't worry, the cooldown for the other character is over. Swap characters and run the Cayo Perico heist again. Complete it and add another $1.2 million in another hour, making it $4.5 million in 10 hours. Halfway there. Guess what? Swap characters and start it again. We both know there's no better option than running Cayo Perico again. Just get out of there. Completing it one more time will add another $1.2 million and another hour, making it $5.7 million in 11 hours. Don't be surprised, we're doing the Cayo Perico heist again. Swap characters. By now, I'm sure you can complete the heist with your eyes closed. Let's add another $1.2 million and another hour, making it $6.9 million in 12 hours. This heist has proven to be a reliable and efficient way to steadily increase our funds, showcasing its value for both new and experienced players. Now, it's time for the final Cayo Perico run. This heist has been our primary moneymaker, and completing it one more time will push our total to more than 8 million. With this amount, I can finally purchase the highly coveted Oppressor MK2. At this point, let me show you what you need to do to get the discounted price for the Oppressor MK2. You need to complete five client jobs. That's easy, but you will have to buy the terabyte to start these missions. The terabyte costs $1.4 million, but you can't buy it unless you own a nightclub, which means you need another million for the cheapest nightclub. The decision is yours. Note that at some point, you'll want to buy the terabyte because it's the only place where you can upgrade your oppressor MK2. However, this requires purchasing the specialized workshop for another half million, of course. 
One thing I haven't mentioned so far is that making money in GTA Online is essentially about saving time. The Oppressor MK2 is the most convenient vehicle in the game. Even without any upgrades, it will help you save a lot of time. Therefore, buy it first, then buy the Terabyte and the Nightclub. The smartest move would be to buy the Nightclub and the Terabyte, complete the five client jobs, and then purchase the Oppressor MK2 at the discounted price. Think of it this way. You bought the Oppressor, the Nightclub, and the Terabyte for just 8.5 million, instead of buying only the Oppressor for 8 million. The journey from a fledgling street hustler to owning the most convenient vehicle in the game has been filled with strategic planning, efficient mission execution, and a few setbacks. The Oppressor MK2 is more than just a vehicle. It's a symbol of your hard-earned progress and a tool that will save you time in future endeavors. As I prepare to buy the Oppressor MK2, I can look back and see how each step brought us closer to this moment. From mastering the Clucking Bell Raid to tackling the Cayo Perico heist multiple times, every mission was a crucial part of the journey. Now, with $8 million in hand, the dream of owning the Oppressor MK2 becomes a reality. This powerful and versatile vehicle will make future missions easier and more efficient, paving the way for even greater success in GTA Online. Thank you.